Bryce McFarland from Northern Arizona University, and uh, this is... I'm Nick Stanzos, also from NAU. And uh, we're students studying physics and astronomy, and uh, today we brought a 8-inch Schmidt-Cassegrain Celestron Telescope. stars at Alamo State Park. We encourage everyone to come out this year and next year as well. We're going to have probably six to eight telescopes for our, our viewers to look through this evening and you're going to see a lot of different types of telescopes. This is a custom-made 12 and a half inch light bridge which is actually made from two different telescopes. So a lot of our astronomers are very ingenious and you'll see some things here you'll never see on a showroom floor. As you go through the uh, group of telescopes here tonight, you're going to see a lot of things that are automated, that um, use GPS coordinating system. This is old school, as I like to call it. It's called point and shoot. You have to triangulate the stars, so you kind of have to know where you're going on the road map of the sky. So we encourage you to come back and take a look a little later. service the Verde Valley, but we also travel throughout the state park system doing star parties uh, all over the state. Uh, I, my uh, weapon of choice here is a Schmidt Cassegrain uh, telescope. Uh, this is 11 inches in, in size, and with an 11 inch telescope you can see a lot of things. Uh, I've become a little spoiled, so I also have a computer built into my telescope, so once I set it up and align it, I can basically punch in the object I want to see and the telescope goes to the object, hence the name Go To Telescope. So we're going to be seeing a lot of objects tonight, uh, from planetary nebulas to uh, star birth region nebulas. Um, Jupiter's out tonight, so we always like to watch the dance of the uh, moons that go around Jupiter. And we'll also see some galaxy action tonight. Uh, M33, the pinball galaxy, will be visible. Uh, there are several nebulas in Cygnus, uh, double stars, the Andromeda galaxy. The list just goes on and on. And, and under the dark skies of uh, Alamo Lake State Park here is just a wonderful place to uh, uh, bring your telescope and look at the night skies. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jan Weaver, and this is my third time out to the fourth annual Night Under the Stars at Alamo Lake. And we love this event. It is so great. You can bring your telescope, you can come and look through the telescope, the weather is gorgeous, the camping is great. Uh, we brought our 8-inch CPC uh, Celestron and it is guided with GPS so it makes it really easy to see things in the sky and you don't necessarily have to know where anything is and that's what I like about it too. So I encourage everybody to come out. This is a wonderful event and it'd be great to see it just grow and get bigger. And I'd like to say that this is one of the dark sky areas of Arizona. Yes. When you live in the metro area, you're missing out on thousands of stars and great views every night. But out here, this is one of the last great dark sky areas that Arizona has, and it's a terrific resource. And this park is right in the center of this great dark sky region. We love it. Hi, my name is Richard Bonner and I am also with the astronomers from Verde Valley and I'm also a docent at Lowell Observatory in Flagstaff, Arizona. 
and this is my fourth trip back here to uh, Alamo Lake for the Astronomy Night Under the, Star, uh, Night Under the Stars. Uh, this telescope here that I'm using tonight is a uh, Celestron 8-inch GPS uh, schmidt cassegrain type telescope. Uh, it's a go-to scope. Electronically it will find objects in the sky by just uh, pressing the keypad and looking for the object. Uh, the big yellow dew shield on there uh, is actually helpful to block some uh, light from entering uh, since we don't really have a dew problem here in Arizona. But uh, this telescope will slew to uh, more than 40,000 objects in the sky. So uh, with the sky conditions here at Alamo Lake, uh, many of those objects are easily readily found. We enjoy coming out here every year and hopefully we'll be here again next year and wish you'd come and join us here with a great viewing of the universe. Astronomy is just looking up. It is a nice door.